Brennan Tarrant looks a little bit one-faced in third. Forty proof going strongly, but needs to find a couple of lengths and find them quickly. Motley Crew now is beginning to flounder late. Here comes draw from the past. Brennan Tarrant is finally getting going. This one's going to be tight. Draw from the past. Brennan Tarrant is a race to the wire. Brennan Tarrant drawn from the past. Motley ostentation enriching though goes the shortest way then round the outside Jodora who's now being asked a question she is buddy being ridden along at the inside final two furlongs now and these two have dominated the race up front enriching and ostentation is little to choose between the pair she is buddy races in third what Jodora now looks a little bit one pace Daniel Thomas is trying to get through potentially is producing a run from the back but inside the final furlong they go and it's still enriching and ostentation what a battle between the pair then after that now absolutely flying home is Daniel Thomas who's coming to pick them all up and it's Daniel Thomas who goes on to win, enriching a potentiali. He's trying to get into it as well as they start to make the turn with just over two furlongs to go. And performing pocket is now asked the question and it goes on to Mia Cora, who's staying on in the second. He's flattened out a little bit as look at look at me now. Then on the far side, we've got Flying Kitty as they go towards the final furlong. The favourite is travelling pretty strongly, just now given the opposite leads by a couple of lengths. The Flying Kitty, the filly who's staying on on the far side, the performing pocket in a very tactical affair, has gone on to win cosily. Performing pocket, the winner, Flying Kitty. Plessione, a little bit of a nudge, still leads by about three lengths. Davinsky now ridden along. Catalina's diamond is trying to cover the run. Even Bolden now has a gap. Here's Rio Real trying to get into it. Right down the centre of the track, Diamond Vine as a leader is coming back to them inside the final furlong. They go. Plenty of chances. Catalina's diamond near side. Uh, even Bolden on the far side. Diamond Vine is finishing very strongly and is beginning to get up. Diamond Vine. It was tight for second between Plessione and even over two furlongs to go and he set sail for home aboard Adranian just hanging a little bit wide but leads to Wasim Farris who's making good headway Pale Orchid has now got a gap to run through a chapellery phase from the back sweet evasion is getting into it as well down towards the final furlong they go it's Wasim Farris but here comes Pale Orchid the jolly old favourite Pale Orchid and Wasim Farris who's battling back but Pale Orchid is now in a different gear and Pale Orchid goes in on to win Wasim Farris was second at Adranian and sweet evasion the tight one for third up there as they turn for home. Drin Hoyland has gone the shortest way with the white sleeves. First bid is trying to get involved. So too, Source of Life from the rear. Lana is staying on. So too, 